Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you some more information regarding the Samsung kiosk. Now, Samsung recently released this kiosk, which is like an ordering system, as you can see, which might be familiar to your local fast food restaurants. Now, the kiosk is a great piece of hardware because you can use it in order to, for example, order your food. What you see right here is we have a default application running where I can hit touch to start and I can select my location, for example, if I would like to eat in. And here I can order the meals that I would like to eat that I fancy straight away. So what you can do right here is you can order your food. You can customize it whenever you want to. Um, and this application that you currently see running is a default application. And the kiosk is a great piece of kit because it allows you to run your own app. So this means you can create your own kiosk application and run it on this machine. Now, if I have finished my order, what it also can do is there is a built-in scanner here at the bottom left corner. This means it can scan whatever QR code or barcode you have in order to connect it to your order. Just below you can see a printer which will print the recipe of your order. Now here on the right hand side in this square, there is also an option to attach a payment terminal, uh, which is not included right now, but it can also be attached to it in order to make the ordering system fully functional. Now what else is the kiosk and what can it do? The kiosk can also be connected into Magic Info. For this you will need a Magic Info version 9 and it can be connected with a remote management license. Now I would like to show you the scanning process as well. Um, so let's say if I just ordered this burger, if I head over to my cart and I would like to pay now, scan code, you can see that the scanning becomes available and I can now scan a code if I want to. So this is for the scanning purpose, uh, which for example, you can connect it to a table that you're sitting at or something similar. And also at the back of the kiosk, you can see a blue cable connected, which is the internet connection. And of course the kiosk also requires power. So these are the two cables that you can see running from the back of the kiosk. Now, if we head over to Magic Info, I would like to show you some more information regarding the kiosk. Now within Magic Info, as I mentioned before, you can connect your kiosk. And this can be done thanks to a remote management license. Now right here, you can see the kiosk that I have connected. Now I can have some additional settings if I go to the information button at the bottom. And first of all, I can here see the general information of my kiosk. Uh, you can also check out the peripherals and the only one that we have connected right now is the barcode scanner which I showed you earlier. If you have the payment terminal attached as well you can here see it as well and you can here see a summary of the peripherals that you have attached. Now there is also a section for the kiosk app. Now you can here empty and collect the log files. Now within this overview is basically quite similar to a regular player. If I open remote control, I can also physically take a look at the device of what is currently showing. And I can also take over the device if I want to remotely. Now that can be done by here clicking at the top right corner. When holding it, you can here see it asks for a pin code, which by default is 0000. And then you can take over with your mouse control. So that's that in terms of the remote management. Uh, in terms of edit, there is quite some additional information that you can add as well. The first one that takes the attention is the in install kiosk app button, which is obviously different than the regular Magic Info players. Uh, what can be done right here is uninstall the kiosk app. So the app that I just showed you where I was browsing through the menu and picking a burger, I can uninstall this application right here. I can also install a new application remotely without physically having to go to the device. Now it is also possible to do it via USB, so instead you prefer to do it physically, it's also still possible. Furthermore, the rest of the information is quite similar. Uh, you can set on and off timers. The setup section is quite similar as well to the normal players. And the rest of the information is pretty similar to the other players. Now some distinguishing options are, for example, here at the register and publish button. Um, here you have two options. The first one is updating the firmware of the kiosk, 
which is your regular way of updating firmware. And the other one is installing the kiosk app. And this is also the place where you have to in install and upload your kiosk app. So right here at register, you can here see my device type on kiosk. I can choose to upload the firmware or upload the kiosk app. Whenever you've uploaded it to the server, you still have to publish it to your devices, of course. And whenever that's done, your devices are either updated or ready to be used. And this is a summary of the kiosk to show you the possibilities of the hardware and the software in combination with Magic Info, of course. And if you have any questions regarding the kiosk, feel free to let us know. We can only deliver the remote management licensing. In terms of the hardware, please reach out to your local Samsung subsidiary. Thanks for watching.